Hey guys, this is Subhashish Mishra, your test coach. Today we will learn a Java program to find square root of a number without square root function. So first we need to learn how to find a square root. So a square root of a number is a value that can be multiplied by itself to give the original number. A square root of 9 is 3 because when 3 is multiplied by itself we get 9. So 3 into 3 is equal to 9. So 3's square is 9. Similarly, 9's square root is 3. 4's square is 16 because 4 into 4 equal to 16. Similarly, 16's square root is 4. Let's go to Eclipse and write the program. So first what we will do, we will create a new class and we will name it as square root public static void main and finish it there is a easy way to find the square root of a number so how you can do it for example you can do something like this double square root equal to math dot sqrt function and then give the number for example for 25 you want to find the square root then you can do this is out square root of 25 is here you can print sq so let me execute it what you are getting here you are getting 5 so this is the very easy way to find the square root of a function so square root of a number so how you are getting it you are using the math class and you are using the square root function so math class is uh, located in java.lang package and it contains different methods like finding the maximum or minimum of two values uh, rounding the values finding square root and getting uh, trigonometric functions so you can use this square root function and you can find square root of a number but we are not going to use this so for now let's comment out this code and we'll write the actual logic so how you will do that first let's take one variable named as number and assign the value for example 25 okay then we can take double and we can take a temporary variable okay then what we can do we'll take again double and square root so here it will contain the square root so first what we'll do square root equal to number divided by 2 so whatever the number we are dividing by 2 and assigning the same value to sr sr is nothing but your square root so here we'll write a do while loop so first you can write write like this do then what you do temp equal to sr okay you are assigning square root value to the temp then what you can do sr equal to temp so i will explain this logic how it is working you can write temp plus number divided by temp then divided by okay i'll explain this don't worry then you can write while the condition is temp minus square root is not equal to 0 then what we'll do we'll print Okay, not equal to zero. It is SR square root of a number. Okay, let's execute it. Ranaj Java application. We're getting five. So, if you want for 16, let's see, 
Ranaj Web Application. We are getting 4. Okay. So, we are getting the correct result. How we are getting it? Let us understand it. So, first what we have done? We have taken a number which is 16 or we can take number as 9 will, whose square root will be 3. Let us see. Is 3. Okay. Let us take the number as 9. Then we have taken one more variable uh, type double temp and we have again taken SR. SR is the square root. We will find the final square root which is again number by 2. We are assigning number by 2. So, which is 9 divided by 2 it means it will be 4. So, the double value is 4 now. Then we are starting the do while loop you know in the do while loop first this statement will execute then it will check for this condition. So, what we are telling here is temp equal to SR. So, temp value is equal to SR. So, what is the SR value now? SR value is 4. So, we are keeping the SR, uh, SR value is 4. So, we are telling temp equal to SR. So, temp value is 4 now. Then we are telling SR is temp plus temp is 4 plus what we are telling then number divided by temp what is the number value number value is 9 so 9 divided by temp so temp is nothing but 4 then what we are doing is finally we are dividing by 2 so let's see what is the result so you know nine, first this bracket will execute so 9 by 4 it means it is 2 so we got 2 here 4 plus 2 so it will be like this 4 plus 2 divided by 2 so 4 plus 2 is equal to 6 6 divided by 2 equal to 3 so we got sr equal to 3 now we will be in the while loop so while loop what will happen while temp minus sr so what is the temp value temp value is 4 sr value equal to 3 4 minus 3 1 1 is not equal to 0 yes condition satisfying will go up again then temp equal to sr so what is the temp value now temp value is equal to sr what is the sr value sr value is equal to 3 so temp value became 3 then again what we are doing here we are telling sr equal to so again we will come here we will write here just to understand so temp value is equal to 3 plus number number value is equal to 9 9 divided by 9 divided by 3 temp value is 3 okay then divided by 2 so what is the result now is equal to 9 divided by 3 3 3 plus 3 6 so 3 plus 3 divided by 2 is equal to 6 divided by 2 equal to 3. So, we got again the answer as 3. So, again we are coming here in the while loop. So, while temp minus SR, so temp value is equal to 3 now and SR value is equal to 3 now. 3 minus 3 is equal to 0 condition is failing. So, we will not go up. Now, we will print the result. So, we are printing the result as square root of a number is SR. So, what is the SR value? SR value is 3 now. So, that is why we got the result as 3. So, that is how it works. Thank you. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section. I will try to explain it. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel.